Good morning, dear students. Let us discuss Changeri plant today. Changeri, it is Oxalis cornicolata, and in Assam, it is commonly known as Tengesi khat. Changeri is an Ayurvedic herb with sour taste. It is used in digestive disorders. Its botanical name is Oxalis corniculata, belongs to Oxalidaceae family. Now, if we look at the Sanskrit synonyms of this drug, they are Khudra Amlika, Lonika, Amla Lonika, Lola, Chatus Parani, Dantartha. Now, the classical categorization of this drug is as per Charak Samhita, it has been included under Shaka Burger and in Susrut as well as Bhagavad Samhitas also, this drug has been included under Shaka Burger. Now the vernacular names of this drug, in English it is called Indian Sorel, in Hindi it is called Tin Patiya because of the three leaflet structure of the leaves. In Tamil it is called Palyakiri and in Assamese it is called Tengesi Hak. Now the classification, it belongs to Kingdom Plantae, order Oxalidals, family Oxalidaceae, and the botanical name, hence, is Oxalis corniculata. Now, the botanical name Oxalis corniculata, lean, here, the Oxalis means a source of oxalic acid. It is a source of oxalic acid. And corniculata refers to having horn-like appendages. Horn-like appendages refers to the word corniculata. That's why the name of the plant is terminated as oxalis corniculata, a source of oxalic acid having horn-like appendages. The plant is a small shrub growing in moisture-rich area. The leaves are usable parts of the plant. The leaves are rich in potassium also along with oxalic acid. Now the description morphology of the Changari plant is Changari plant Latin name Oxalis corniculata is a herbaceous and perennial herb with primary slender roots. Changari is low growing creeping weed often found in gardens, wastelands, in hedges and roadsides. Branches of Changari plant lie on the ground and start rooting from to form a new plant. This plant grows up to height of 30 cm with erect and creeping branches. The stem is narrow. The stem is narrow and creeping about 40 cm in length. Roots of this Oxalis corniculata plant are branched and fibrous, covered with small hairs. It contains three hard sepid leaflets that are joined to a long petal. Leaves are about 4 to 12 cm, sorry, 12 mm long and 10 to 20 mm broad. Yellow flowers of the plant grow in cluster of 1 to 6 petals that are about 10 to 20 mm long. Fruits are 1 to 2 cm long which are horn-like and are cylindrical capsules. Seeds are rough, egg flattened and dark red in color. Flowering season of this plant is from July to September. It is written December, easily it is July to September and sometimes in some areas 
it can be found up to December. Now the ancient verse which is depicted regarding Changeri is Changeri Chukrika Dantasatha Ambastha Amla Lonika Asmantakastu Safari Kusali Cha Amla Patraka Changeri Dipani Ruchya Ruksha Ushna Kafa Vatanut Pittala Amla Grahanya Arsa Kushta Atisara Nasini. So it states that Changeri Chukrika Dantasatha Ambastha Amla Lonika Asmantaka Safri Kushali Amla Patraka are synonyms of Oxalis corniculata. This herb is sore in taste, stimulant, appetizer, rough or ruksha, aggravates pitta due to its hot potency. It is used to cure kapha and vata dosa disorders. It is useful for abdominal tumors, piles, leprosy, diarrhea and dysentery. This is the meaning of the previous sloka. You can go through the sloka once again. Now the Ayurvedic properties of Changiri. Rasa is Amla Kasaya that is the taste is sour and astringent. Guna is Laghu and Ruksa that is the physically it is light and dry. Bidya is Usna the potency is hot. Vipaka is Amla or the metabolic property of the digestion is sour. The major chemical constituents of this drug are malic acid, tartaric acid, citric acid, itectin, isovitectin. Now, if we look at the actions of Changiri, it is grahini, it is absorbent. Kapha marote, as mentioned, it is useful in kapha and bath disorders. Grahani, useful in malabsorption syndromes like sprue. Arsa, useful in hemorrhoids. Kinchit kasaya. It is slightly astringent. Agni Deepani improves digestion power. Pitta Krit It increases Pitta because of its Usnabiriya and Amla taste. Samavate Hita Useful in rheumatoid arthritis which is called RA. In those diseases, there will be inflammation of your small joints of your body. Kapha Hita, useful in Kapha disorders, Laghu, it is light to digest, Atisara Hanti, useful in diarrhea, Kushta Nasini, useful in skin diseases. And continuing this, the actions of Changiri has been mentioned in Charaksamhita Sutrastham 27th chapter, Changiri, which is Oxalis Carniculata is hot in potency. Ushna, it's hot, it is grahi, absorbent, useful in disorders of kapha and bata imbalance. Grahani, it is useful in malabsorption syndrome, irritable bowel syndrome, and arsahara, it is useful in hemorrhoids or piles. Now, if we consider the practical uses of Oxalis corniculata, which can be considered as the therapeutic uses in present day era, the first point is Oxalis best herb rich in vitamin C. And it is best used in the treatment of scurvy. See how much important has been given to vitamin C in the days of Corona. 
vitamin C supplementation is much more necessary to prevent corona. So as a result of which the supply of vitamin C has been increased in the market whereas the demand has been increased much more. So the natural sources of vitamin C which is very much there in amlaki as well as this herb. So this herb Oxalis corniculata chankari can be consumed on daily basis as because this has been mentioned in Shakavarga also. It can be consumed in day to day life. This herb is beneficial in treating influenza. External paste of leaves is used as antidote for the poisoning caused by snake bite, thatura poisoning, mercury poisoning and arsenic poisoning also. The fourth point is leaf extract or juice is used for treating burns, insect bites and various skin eruptions. It is also beneficial for various skin disorders like warts, corns, inflammation and boils. Leaf juice is mixed with onion extract to remove warts. Now, this herb is enthalmantic in nature. So it can kill worms and it is used in infants to get rid of hookworms. And it is also used to cure enteritis, which is gastroenteritis. Leaf juice of this herb is used in the treatment of jaundice. It is very effective to cure symptoms of diabetes, which is polyhydra. Infusion of leaves of this herb is used for treating low-grade as well as high-grade fevers. The leaf paste is applied over forehead externally to relieve headaches. Crushed leaves are used to reduce inflammation. You can try it at home. Leaf extract mixed with oil and its local message is used in relieving insomnia. Insomnia is sleeplessness. Aqueous extract of this herb is cardioprotective in nature and it is very beneficial for overall health. Now the part used, leaf, the fruit and in some cases whole plant is being used. The doses of decoction or quarter form is 15 to 30 ml as because it is Ushna Piriya drug. Cautions. There are some contraindications. Oxalic acid present in leaves gives sharp flavor and this oxalic acid helps to bind up the proper supply of calcium. So sufferers, the patient of gout, which is water rakta, rheumatism, somewhat and hyperacidity should restrict the intake of this herb. Now some Ayurvedic medicines which are important that has been prepared with Changiri are Changiri Krita for the treatment of bloating that is gaseous distension of your abdomen, malabsorption syndrome that is called irritable bile syndrome and diarrhea, Jivan Tiadi Krita for the treatment of early stress of cataract this is being used in cataract disorders which is called Timira in Ayurveda. So here these are the horn like structures which are part of Changeri. This is the flower of Changeri. So thank you. Thank you so much.